Hello, friends. You are on the Memory Steel channel. And today we have an exciting video about how our guys, with the help of Dragon Drones, as they are called, are burning out enemy infantry from our Ukrainian forests. As you can see, the site is quite interesting. You know, I wouldn't want to be in that forest at this moment. According to eyewitness accounts, it is practically impossible to extinguish this, even though it is not napalm, so associations with Vietnam might be somewhat inappropriate here. Moreover, it is important to understand that these are our forests, and we will restore them ourselves later. But I saw a video where our guys went into the positions of the Russians after the Dragon Drones had done their work. And I can tell you, it was definitely not a sight for the faint-hearted. Considering that it is practically impossible to extinguish it, it's like, I don't even know how to call it, but it's neither phosphorus nor napalm. But nevertheless, it is terrible. It somewhat resembles... If you watched the finale of Game of Thrones, an interesting series, then this is something similar to Daenerys Targaryen riding on a dragon. It pours, but not in her fictional universe anymore, but in our forests, in our reality. Do you see what is happening around you? The land around is simply scorched earth. There is only one strip of forest, and even that is burning down. The fields around look like some kind of lunar landscape. This is what the Liberators are doing to us. Alright guys, let's take a little break. Here are some clips from the training of our fighters. No matter what they say about our untrained infantry being thrown in like meat, um, the truth is that the fighters undergo rigorous and exhausting training. And not only the fighters, but also the sergeants and unit commanders, as well as those in the military. And now a bit about my favorite aviation. Our general staff has released a video showing how our pilots work to protect the sky over Kyiv. Yes, we don't have the newest planes, but we have good pilots. We have few F-16s. So we manage with what we have. Now currently Pokrovsk, the hottest spot to date, indeed one of the hottest. We see our guys from the armored personnel carriers firing away. The APCs are now equipped with something to be able to fight in modern conditions. And I remind you that if you definitely want to receive a truly memorable souvenir or indeed connect with the historical events that are currently happening, you can do so on our official website. And everything that you see destroyed now, it comes to us to some extent, and we are already trying to turn swords into plowshares, if that is possible.
Near Orchansk, Boris Guars and the Hard Brigade destroyed Russian trenches and armor stockpiles on the front line. In other developments, Ukraine's units uh, from uh, Kerensky company shot down a Russian uh, supercam drone using drones.